So my name is Park Poom. Uh, I'm from Texas A&M University. And in this talk, I will be discussing my recent work on SWAP, a new programmable playground for web application security. And this is a joint work with Jian Wei Huang and my advisor, Guo Fei Gu. So web attacks are still prevalent. And according to a recent statistic, uh, millions of dollars were um, rewarded uh, to white hat hackers. And unsurprisingly, cross-site scripting attacks are still the most prevalent type of web attacks. So in response to these attacks, there are three traditional web defense approaches, browser-centric, uh, server-centric, and user-centric. For browser-centric solution, researchers usually propose the solution, then browser vendor uh, implement and integrate uh, into their system before it being released to the public. However, it can take years or months for this process. Such example of this browser-centric is anti-cross-site scripting filters. For server-centric solution, web developers deploy defense on the web server, which can prevent the attack. However, this type of defense lack the client side, and the attacker can still compromise the user. Some example of this server-centric solution is the firewall or snort. For user-centric solution, uh, user install the defense into their client, which can prevent the attack. However, this is not reliable in the perspective of web developers because attackers can still compromise other users who do not install such defense. Some example of this type of defense are browser extension like ad blockers. And usually for these defenses, there are, un there are no unified platform and they are implemented as a standalone application. So in this work, we want to build a unified platform that cover the previous um, solution weakness. And we want three characteristics in our new platform, which are the programmability, locality, and the adoptability. For the programmability, we want our platform to be easy to implement, install, and update. So it can support fast prototyping and can respond to new attacks quickly. For the locality, we want our platform to run on the client side, and it should be secure against attackers, especially cross-site scripting attackers. And for the adoptability, we want no user action because, the, as I mentioned, it's not reliable to rely on user to protect themselves, and we want minimal change to the legacy code. So in this work, we propose and develop Swap a new programmable platform. The pipeline of Swap is simple. Web developers simply include Swap along with the website. Because Swap is implemented as JavaScript library, uh, including Swap in the website is as easy as uh, importing a JavaScript file. Then web developers can install uh, existing Swap apps that we developed or others developed or compose their own um, application and then install it on the client. This will prevent the attackers from compromising the client. So Swap provides the programmability through the applications. So Swap application runs in the event-based manner where uh, suppose user interact with the website. This will generate a trigger such as web request or web response and then applications can register a corresponding event handler, such as request handler or respond handler. And we provide four uh, categories of interface so that uh, developers can compose using these APIs. To provide the locality, we implement Swap in a ser inside service worker. And this is why we also call our approach as service worker-centric approach. And you might ask what exactly is a service worker? So service worker is a special execution environment uh, context for JavaScript. It runs in the web browsers, but um, it has no direct access between the main page and the uh, service worker context. However, it acts like a proxy between the web page and the web server. 
and web server usually deploy service worker to handle certain tasks. Two of the most popular tasks that they utilize service worker for is for offline access and for push notification. However, implementing swap inside service worker is by no means simple. So we have to address multiple challenges, and one of the challenge is that the service worker could be compromised. And as we have seen in previous work, even though the web page and the service worker runs in two different contexts and there's no direct access, there are multiple indirect channels that attacker can utilize to compromise service worker, which could also compromise uh, swap. Suppose like there's a cross-site scripting attacker, as we know is the most prevalent attack, then swap and service worker is no longer safe in this case. So as part of swap design, we have to uh, enhance these um, uh, channels and prevent attacks from uh, cross-site scripting attacker. Please refer to the paper for more details regarding this challenge and uh, the other challenge. For the adoptability of swap, um, I want to mention about an existing cache management library called Workbox. As I mentioned, service worker is used um, in many ways, including for offline usage and push notification. So it's possible that there is existing libraries that the website are already using. So we show that uh, swap can be ad adopted by developers easily by encapsulating Workbox by simply changing 30 lines of code. And according to our statistic, 95% of the clients already support sw uh, swap APIs, and 90% of web server are swap ready. To evaluate swap, um, in this talk, I will cover the programmability and the performance of swap. For the programmability, I want to highlight uh, four of the apps that we implement. So the first app that we implement is DOM Guard. DOM Guard is used to mitigate against DOM cross-site scripting attacks. We implement DOM Guard using swap, uh, which requires only about 400 lines of code as compared to DOM Purify, which is an existing uh, web defense which required approximately 1,500 lines of code. We have also implemented autofill guard and cache guard, uh, which can be used to mitigate against information disclosure attack, and they are used for different um, scenarios. And these two apps can be implemented using only approximately 200 lines of code each. And we also implement data guard using 300 lines of code, and this can be used to prevent or uh, mitigate insecure direct object inference attack. And Swap and our apps are publicly released in our GitHub link, so be sure to check that out. In the GitHub, we have also provided a demo for each app, and there, is more, there are more apps that we have developed and is not covered in the, uh, this talk. To evaluate the performance of Swap, uh, we install Swap on WordPress and PHPBB and then we install four of the apps that I mentioned. Then we measure the uh, several metrics, including CPU usage, network bandwidth, and the page load time. For the CPU usage and network bandwidth, we found that it's almost uh, negligible overhead. Um, and for the page load time, we used Chrome DevTools with the fast 3G setting and we find that for WordPress, there is about 20% additional uh, page load time and about 30% page load time for the PHP BB. However, this um, performance could be further uh, optimized and reduce the overhead to 15 to 25%. So to conclude, uh, in this work, we propose and develop Swap, a unified platform for programmable security, and we compose Swap apps to mitigate popular web attacks, and we eva evaluate Swap and show Swap apps are programmable with reasonable performance overhead, and all our 
uh, developed platform and apps are open source. So please feel free to check out the GitHub link and also our paper. And I'll be happy to take questions.